Dance auditions. The notice might read, a dance sequence will be taught. Please wear shoes and appropriate clothing for movement. The audition notice might specify tap shoes, ballet shoes, jazz shoes, and if it doesn't, remember when I told you about your song auditions and you're going to have to do a little bit of research to study the style of the show? Remember when I told you about cold auditions and you could do a little bit of research to find out about the setting and the characters in the story? Well, with dance auditions, you're going to have to do a little bit of research. Are there tap numbers? Is there a ballet sequence? Is there lyrical hip-hop? Because that will give you an idea of what type of shoes to bring. Let's do a little review about the appropriate shoes. Now don't panic if you don't have these shoes. Tennis shoes can be worn as long as they have non-marking soles. Appropriate attire. That means no jeans. If you would not wear it in front of your grandparents, do not wear it to an audition. Unless it's Chicago and you can wear whatever you want to. And don't wear any baggy clothing. We want to see your body move. Not be covered up by a baggy t-shirt. And girls, and I guess I should say guys too, pull your hair back. Keep your hair out of your face. But you might be thinking, but I'm not a dancer. I haven't taken a dance class since I was six. I cannot dance. That's okay. Just relax and have fun. And let your personality show through the choreography that's being taught. Look, the worst thing you can do is compare yourself to others. This is your journey. It doesn't matter where the others are in their experience. It doesn't matter where the others are in their tech. Do your best. Because when you compare yourself to others, you are robbing yourself of the joy of your journey. Auditioning, whether it be a vocal audition, whether it be a cold read, whether it be a dance audition, it is a skill. And you will improve over time the more you do it and the more you practice. Are you ready to practice? Great, because I am about to be joined on stage by my choreographer and my student director for our upcoming show, All Shook Up. And we're going to be teaching you a small dance sequence from Jailhouse Rock. Okay, so we're going to start out. We're standing strong. Our feet are comfortably apart, shoulders up. And we're going to hold for the first couple of counts. Then we're going to roll our head. We're going to put our arm out. And then we're going to sit. Okay? Then we're going to run our fingers through the side of our hair. Down. Then we're going to sit on the other side and we're going to comb back this side of our hair. There you go. And then we'll come straight. Okay? okay. Let's do it with the music. We're going to 
cross over with jazz hands. Make sure this chin's up. Very stylish. So we've just hit here. Then we're going to step, cross. Okay? Then we're going to take it and we're going to step out and bring our hands down. So we've hit here. We step and cross with jazz hands. We come down. And then we're going to roll this shoulder. And then we're going to roll this shoulder. Let's try it with the music. shoulder, we roll our shoulder, we're under arrest, <laughs> we go one, two, three, four, then we're going to turn, we're going to pivot to the front, to the side, keeping ourselves out on that, okay, let's try that with the music. across our body, crash, boom, bang. We've just done crash, boom, bang, and then just bring it down. The whole rhythm section was a purple game. Good. Okay, let's try it that with the music. Thank you. 
today counts as a cardio. <laughs> so that'll kind of give you an idea of what you're walking into when you're going to a dance audition. And like I said, relax, have fun, let your personality shine through, and you will be terrific.